So who does the Catholic Church confess their sins to? Welcome to British Rational's Review of the Year 2018. In a month when... August saw the Pope visit Ireland for the first time since 1979. There were a lot of demonstrations, and he apologised for the various abuses of power that have been committed over the years. So who does the Catholic Church confess their sins to? Anglicans? Scientologists? All I know is, someone's going to have a very long day. As Popes go, I think he's pretty, pretty nice. Him, I like him, and also Pope Boniface, definitely in the top five. Although they wouldn't like me because I'm a witch. People have known for years that members of their organisation have been snootering kids, and yet they got away with it time and time again. You would have thought God would have stepped in by now and done some smiting. It's almost like he's not real. Too many times the Catholic Church has hushed up all the terrible things it's done. And we can't even blame the patriarchy for it because the nuns are at it as well. <laughs> if you think I'm going to do jokes about Catholics in Ireland, forget it. I like my kneecaps where they are. It's been quite a year for Silicon Valley. Elon Musk launched a car into space, got slapped down for securities fraud, smoked a joint on a podcast and called a diver a pedo. And that's just Musk. Apple became the first trillion dollar company and they were followed a few weeks after by Amazon. Google had to explain to Congress why Donald Trump's an idiot. Some people think Elon Musk is like Iron Man. Some people think he's an evil genius. But if science fiction has taught me anything, it's that the guy trying to take over Mars is probably a baddie. In my eyes, those lads can do no wrong. Where would I be without my iPhone, my Instagram, and my imagination? Oh, everyone in tech thinks they're a nice guy. Well, it's not nice to invent more ways to spy on people who wouldn't want to be with you in the first place. The incels of Excel. I don't like Amazon because I really like to pick things up myself. And one day I went along to the depot and this drone came out and told me to buzz off. His name was Dave. And he looked really sad. And then he pissed into a bottle and ran inside. Firing that Tesla into space was a colossal waste of time and money. Or Elon Musk has committed the perfect murder. Join me tomorrow for more British Rationals. And follow us everywhere at Brit Rationals.